What is up everyone? So Cruz here and I want to try something new out. Now I live in Puerto Rico and I don't know if you guys know this but in Puerto Rico we didn't have electricity for two three days straight which sucked. I mean it sucked big time. I'm not gonna lie there. I mean I was bored out of my friggin mind. So during those two three days I kept thinking to myself you know what I could do that was you know brand new for my subscribers to keep them you know uh, add a little bit more variety etc. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be picking a random game from my video game collection and while I play that game, I'm going to be telling you guys a little story about when I was young. When I was around 10 years old, I used to live in a house that had had a ton of uh, paranormal activity. Now, the thing is, behind that house, like around 30, 50 feet away, there, there was this giant cemetery called uh, La Piedad. I think that was the name, I'm not really sure. And then there was this giant tree at, in the front of the house. Some two people committed a suicide from that tree. They hanged themselves from the tree, and it was a four, four bedroom apartment basically. And then a couple at the very top floor. They the 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 husband he killed the wife. Then he killed the children, and then he killed himself. So yeah, you know there was a ton of uh, paranormal activity going on, and uh, there was also this little shed by the side that nobody had access to. It had a ton of locks on it. And there were rumors that a guy had committed suicide in there. But uh, anyway, so the thing is, now here's, here's, I'm going to tell you guys a little story. Uh, this was the, to me, this was the creepiest one. There, there, are, there are a ton I can tell, obviously, but there was this one time. Um, I was, it was late at night. I was about to go to sleep. And uh, I, you know, I was in the bathroom, you know, I was, you know, I'm washing my face and brushing my teeth, you know, that sort of stuff. You know, you know, routine, basically. And then I, after I finish brushing my teeth, I'm going over to my room, and I don't know why, for some reason, I went back to the bathroom. I'm not really sure why right now. I went back to the bathroom. So when I went back to the bathroom, I slipped on something. I don't know on what the hell I slipped, but I slipped on something. And then when I slipped, I actually, I fell and I hit my chin really hard on some kind, I think, I think on the toilet. I'm not really sure on what right now, but... You know, there was freaking blood everywhere. I was bleeding like freaking crazy. I was bleeding like a, like a stuck pig, basically. And, uh, you know, so I'm sitting there in the bathroom on the floor, and I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding a lot. I'm looking for something to, uh, you know, to, to uh, stop the bleeding, basically. And I remember, I still remember to this day, I could hear somebody laughing at me. And the laughter was coming from the, the shed by the side I just told you about. And it was just holy freaking crap. I remember that. That was that was it was it was like it wasn't one of these you know evil evil you know scientist laughs nor anything like that like ha 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 you know I know but it was like a little it was like a little a little giggle like like somebody was giggling like hey 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 you know what I mean like that at me I have got no idea why. Well obviously yeah because I just fall and you know I was bleeding all over the place. And uh, let me just kill this guy real quick. And uh, I don't know. That was that was insanely freaking creepy. That was probably one of the creepiest things like ever. I mean, there was just a ton of creepy stuff going on from in that house basically. And I remember, I remember this was actually interesting. This is this is actually true. I actually drove by that place. Uh, I think like two years ago. I drove by that place. You know, with my family. You know, we were on the we were on a trip somewhere, and the house was nearby. So we said, hey, let's check out. Let's see how the house is doing. So when we went over to the uh, who the hell's hitting me? When we went over, to, oh, this guy. When we went over to the uh, the house, the house was completely freaking empty. Like I'm gonna be honest with you guys, that that house needs a freaking that house needs an exorcism or something. Because uh, yeah, I mean there was just a ton of creepy stuff going on. Obviously, I'm I'm just uh, you know scraping the bottom of the barrel here, but. Uh, that was just creepy, man. I remember telling, you know, my neighbors, I told them that. I remember telling them that because that was kind of the thing. I, like I said, it was four, it was four uh, bedrooms. But uh, basically, us neighbors, we, we would just keep switching between the, the rooms, basically. We'd be like, okay, well, this year I'm going to be living on the one on the right. Then he's going to move, my neighbor's going to move to the one on the left, etc. I don't know what the hell just happened. And, uh, yeah, I'm playing Fallout New Vegas, by the way. And uh, yeah, in case you were wondering, and uh, you know, I remember telling him that, and he was like, you know what, the same thing happened to me. He was like, I slipped on something, you know, he injured. I think it was, uh, I think it was one of his elbows, and there was blood everywhere, whatever. And he could hear somebody laughing. Now I'm pretty sure you're probably wondering, well, what the hell did I do when I heard the the laughing, the the giggling, or whatever the hell it was? 
obviously I wanted to tell the ghost the, the whatever the hell it was you know to shut the fuck up and then get the fuck out of here but uh, obviously I didn't do that because you know I didn't really want to you know I didn't want to anger whatever the hell was laughing you know what I mean I had no idea what the hell was laughing so I just I didn't want to <laughs> I didn't want to piss whatever the hell it was off so you know I just I just pretended that you know that I, I wasn't hearing anything and I just, uh, you know, I did my best, you know, to stop the bleeding, whatever. I actually needed stitches. I remember getting, like, stitches on my chin. I got, like, I think it was, like, four, maybe five stitches. I don't I don't remember very well. But I remember getting stitches on there the, the next day. Because, you know, I, I couldn't, the bleeding simply wouldn't stop. So, you know, I, you know, they had to take me to the hospital, whatever. And uh, bottom line, what I did after that was that I just, I pretty much, I never went to the bathroom again at night in that house like you know what i mean like i think anybody in my position would have pretty much done the same thing um to be honest you know what i mean uh it was just jesus H. christ i mean like i said a, a ton of stories happen i could I, pro I could tell like probably 10 15 stories right now but obviously i don't i want to leave the uh you know i want to leave something for, for for the next video obviously you know what i mean but uh you know certainly you know i think that uh it was just it was just one of those things you know what i mean like it's just something that happens you know in the minute i think if, if i remember correctly it was like i think it was like 12 at night i'm not really sure but uh holy shit holy crap yeah it was creepy so i think that's uh i think that's pretty much it for this video um, i just want to i'm gonna leave it in, uh here maybe le let me know in the comment section if you want to see more you want to hear more of these uh you know creepy stories i'm not even sure what the hell i'm gonna call this video so if you have any suggestions for the for that as well well then certainly go right ahead you know what i mean but uh, this is something new that I'm going to. I, I was actually going to do this with uh, Ultra Street Fighter 4, but then I was like, no, you know what? No, it's not going to. It's not really going to fit. You know what I mean? Like having a. You know, a me telling a creepy story and, you know, some match going on in the background. You know what I mean? Uh, that's another thing. I've had a ton of people ask me if I'm going to be doing, you know, commentary on my Ultra Street Fighter 4 matches. I could do commentary on Ultra Street Fighter 4 matches, but the problem is, you know, I don't want to sound like Jim Ross. You know what I mean? I don't want to be like, oh, my God, you know, you blocked that overhead. By God, she's killed him. She's killed him. He's broken in half. You know what I mean? No, I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it, to me, adding commentary to a Street Fighter match, I'm going to be honest. I'm, I find it kind of boring, to be honest. Oh, he blocked that overhead. Oh, no, he didn't block the overhead. Oh, he take the throw. Oh, he didn't take the throw. Oh, that was a nice setup. Oh, he blocked the setup. Oh, you know what I mean? It's just no. But uh, I think that, yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Please let me know in the comment section what you thought about uh, my little uh, experience when I was around 10 years old. Um, let me know if something similar happened to you. And that is pretty much it. I will be leaving the video right here. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. And uh, please make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. But the most important thing is to enjoy the content itself. Later.